Cassidy, welcome to CCI The Phantom. How did you decide on the name The Phantom? Oh wow, that's a, okay. You talk about being out in the woods and having stealth. That was what the whole purpose was. So Phantom just seemed like the natural name. How long have you been in business, Mike? Around 26 years. You've been producing The Phantom the whole time? Yeah. And <laughs> as we said earlier. It's what I do, I don't do anything else. I do this seven days a week, 10 hours a day, 364 days a year. Yeah, this is the original Phantom artwork, hand-drawn. What year? Uh, it had to be sometime between 86 and 87, that's all I can tell mm -hmm. you. Back in those days, they called me Machine Gun Mike because <laughs> I pumped that thing so fast. And then I had just lit somebody up and the guy looked at me and said, was that necessary? <laughs> and, and you lit him up with what, like two shots, three no, shots? No, I bah, 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 like that. And the guy said, "Was that necessary?" And it just stuck with me. And I thought, you know, you're absolutely right. That wasn't necessary at all. It's funny that was kind of a changing time for me. And I thought, you know, the whole purpose of the pump gun is to slow the game down and go for accuracy and not volume of paint. So that's always was in the back of my mind, no matter what I did. How many phantoms have you produced? In total now? Oh, about 39,982, maybe something like that. But you started the serials at? 2,000 on that frame. And then Revelations, so far you're... Uh, you made the, enough parts to make 125. Okay. Right. You don't include all the prototypes. Yeah. And how many have you sold of the 125 as of uh, About today? 30 now. 30. That's not your prototype, but that's another very early. Yeah, another another very early. Huh. And is your rail stamped on that one? For a serial? On uh, this one? Yeah, yeah, this one is uh, one, 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 one. So 11? Mm -hmm. It was a process. Because mm -hmm. originally we were making parts, kind of like a conversion like everybody else was, like mm -hmm. for our 007. Yeah. And then from that it was, well, let's go ahead and put our own grip on there. Let's do this and do that. So you originally made the bodies before you even put a crossman grip on that. That's right. Okay. Yeah. And so that might have been 86. Or That's something. correct, yeah. Because when I tell people I, I got the business going in 87, what I meant was that I thought at that particular time I had something that was commercially viable that I could actually sell. Uh -huh. Because before that, the job that I had, I'd come over to the machine shop at night and we'd draw stuff up and we'd make parts yeah. and we'd slap things together. And that, that's the same machine shop you're still using? That's correct. And how many of the conversion kits did you make before you started making your own receiver? Uh, we probably only did about 10 or 15. As we said earlier, you started with your body kits and they used a Nelson frame on a custom rail. Right. You cut the Nelson frame a little bit to fit it to the rail. Right. Right, and then, cut the tabs off of it. And then eventually you moved to the Crossman frame. Right. And you made about 100. Yeah, maybe about that. 100 of those. And then Aldo Perron ended up. Getting the deal. He got, but he got the deal. Okay, so at that point, that's why I decided to make the quote M16 type frame. Good enough. That's great. Are we done? <laughs> We're never done. But good for now. Dan will call you. 